back. We're talking about our national obsession with being busy. And our next guest is a high achiever who knows that she's busy. Lindsay Davis is an Emmy Award-winning journalist who anchors both ABC News Live, Prime, and the Sunday edition of World News Tonight, not to mention frequently reporting and hosting for GMA 2020 Nightline somewhere within her jam-packed schedule. She found time to become a New York Times best-selling children's author. Her latest book, Girls of the World, doing more than ever before, inspires young girls to speak up and show the world what they are capable of. She's a dear friend friend of our show, third time in the Tam Fam house. Please welcome Lindsay Davis! So good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. I'm so glad I got a label. The addict to addiction. And yes. I now know what I am. You now know. <laughs> so here's the thing. I think everyone in this show, this is one of those candid conversations. I have to be honest, even though Valerie's here giving us tips, I don't feel anything will change. Right. Because I, I'm, I, You're I'm, wired. Try, I'm wired this way. I'm wired this way. You are so wired this way in the commercial break. These are your journals yes. of your day. Yes. You still keep it's it crazy. I have 17 of them in my office. Green is still for this year. Each one is a different year. Okay. But I need this. Like, even more than my cell phone. I need, and I think that there is something to it with, like, even just checking off, like, what I need to do. But I have so many things to do that I need to write it all down. So you still write it all down? Yes, yeah. I do. do you you said your iPhone. That. So your son is how old now? He's going to be 10 next month. 10 next yes. month. It happens oh my so God. fast. I know that. See, I there. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> but even in your busy moments, clearly, like every parent, you carve out. Well, every parent tries to. Yes. Carve out the time. You guys went sledding recently. Yes, it was the first time it had snowed really in, in like five years amount. in New York. Right. right. Yes. And so we were a little dusty, as you see there, and uh, kind of <laughs> a little, little crash. Wait, um, what happened to the child? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Everybody made it out. Everybody okay. made it out. <laughs> no man or child left behind but in that. You know, it was funny because it was right after an election night and uh, during the primary season. And I think I was here until, you know, one o'clock in the right. morning and I was going to get on a plane the next day at noon. And so it, we woke up, yeah. it was snowing and I was like, got to do it because otherwise I was so tired, but otherwise I wasn't going to have that time. And I have to believe that these are the kind of memories that he's going to remember. Well, they about. are. And you find the time also, which I did not know. You're running a half marathon in every state. With my husband. With your husband, Paul. Yes. Oh, look at that. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, you have 500 jobs. You've written New York Times best-selling book. We have the new book. That I'm... Why, why busy was this bread. On... Talk why, about it. Why was bread. this on the goal list? I mean, it's cute. You know what? I feel look like... Look at y'all it... look so cute on these, because I would never do it. I couldn't. Well, quite often, we go by ourselves. Sometimes we are able to bring our son, and, and that's also fun and educational yeah. for him. But I do think it's really important to take that one-on-one -on -one time yeah. with your partner. That time where you're not focused on the child, but you're actually looking each other in the eyes. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh, my goodness, that's but you. I love Paul. Y'all have run, <laughs> that's your 42nd race in Tulsa. If you're running, how are y'all looking in each other's eyes? Because I know you don't play. He's <laughs> back there. He's There's in the back. There's the dinner the night before. You got a carbo load, so right. you got to get, you know, the Italian meal. And we go away kind of for the weekend. Aww. And so then it's just, you know, other than the run, it, we're just together. I love that. And this book is so beautiful that you found time to write. This is the first book that wasn't inspired by your baby yes. boy. Right. Um, but it's a love letter to girls of the world. Um, you talk about the youth and what they can learn, especially girls from mm -hmm. us. Where were you mentally that you felt like this was the calling? This was the what's next? You know what? I, I was thinking about just even last week celebrating President's Day, right? 1789, George Washington was inaugurated. Oh. 235 years ago, we have not had a woman as president in this country. Dozens of other countries have already had female prime ministers and presidents. And I started thinking about the idea that quite often, even when women run, they're an outlier, they're an anomaly, right? And so there's something within us, because if we were truly equal, it would be even the candidates would be like 50-50, yeah. right? You'd have half women and half men. And so there's something I feel like in us from an early age where we don't have the kinds of words that I'm yeah. kind of trying to reinforce or establish in girls 
being brave, being strong, yeah. being ambitious, where these are things that often, if you say a man is ambitious, that's yeah. a good thing. If you say a woman is ambitious, that's a bad thing. And so I think it's important to plant those seeds early on in our young girls. You wrote in the book, absolutely. You wrote on the book to the belief that youth does not have mm. to be wasted on the young. You know, that is not uh, my original yes, quote, but I, my mom had said it to me once when I was in college. She had come to visit for the day, and yeah. I was taking a class with Julian Bond, a famed yeah. civil rights activist. And the kids, this was really before cell phones and everything, and the kids were like passing notes, not paying attention. And that's when my mom first told me that quote of youth is wasted on the young, you know? Yeah. And I, I always, it kind of stuck with me, and I was thinking that if we can, really get certain things in our young people early, yeah. that they really understand yeah. and appreciate and put into action, then it doesn't have to be wasted all the time. And so mm. I do think that there is always that hope. Well, I love this line. There's another great truth all people should know. The girls of the world are ready to go. Mm. And I think that's so true. It's so true. Well, congratulations again. Marathon sledding, <laughs> successful books. Congratulations. We adore you. We Thank adore you. you. Lindsay's <laughs> latest children's book, Girls of the World, is out now in Tam Fam. Share it with a little girl in your life because you're going home with a copy.